Welcome to pile number one for messages from your demon. So this is going to be a timeless reading, pile one. Let's see what demons come out and what messages they have for you. You got Demon Salos, so Demon Salos. You also got the Demon Folklore, so Demon Folklore. And you also got the Demon Olysis, so Demon Olysis as well. So let's see what messages they have for you. Ooh, that just like flew out. So we have Hecate Underworld, so I feel like you guys are connected to the Underworld. They want you to know that you have a like you're connected to the underworld and it's like easy to connect to these type of energies for you we also have beauty mermaid they're wanting you to see the beauty that you have some of you may be dealing with um, self-confidence issues or something and they want you to really embrace in your beauty and own it and even own what you consider your your flaws here like don't um down yourself on the way your physical appearance is is like they want you to accept the way you look and love the way you look we have familiar spirits so one of these demons has been with you guys for a very long time helping you okay this is the assistant card but one of these demons have been around assisting you for quite some time um, for others of you they're wanting you to work with them so that they can assist you We have spell casting manifestation. Yeah, they want to help bring in some sort of manifestation that you are seeking here. It would not surprise me if you are a uh, Scorpio and Pluto generation, pal one. You don't have to be, but I am seeing that with that underworld card. We have crone death. I feel like um, you've worked with demons in a past life or you, um, you had like guardian demons in a past life or you've been connected to the underworld in the past life as well. We have foresight. So they want to help you with your intuition, uh, your psychic abilities as well. And then we have herb garden medicinal. Um, so for some of you, they may be wanting you to heal yourself, be more intuitive. It's like they're trying to help you during a rebirth, I feel like. With that crone death, they definitely could be trying to help you during a rebirth, a phoenix moment, um, so that you can manifest what, you're manif what you are wanting to manifest here. Um, some of you are doing better health-wise. I think for some of you, there's like one of these demons that's assisting you with your health. Um, just remember that I'm not a doctor. It is in my disclaimer. Uh, they may want you to use herbs. We have Hagstone protection. So you're very protected, um, especially by another witch. Okay, if you've been getting spiritually attacked by a witch or psychically attacked by a witch, if there's been a witch putting witchcraft on you, um, you're, you're one of these demons or maybe all of them here are protecting you from some witch that is evil eyeing you or putting baneful magic on you. Okay. We also have high priest authority. So I feel like they want to help you get in a higher position, possibly within your workplace or just in some aspect of your life. Um, they're wanting you to climb the ladder at work or to have a more authoritative position at work. And I feel like they want to help you with that by providing you um, with some kind of knowledge. Okay, they may be directing you to certain books or articles or web pages or um, channels or something. I feel like they're purposely trying to direct you to certain type of content, uh, whether it's books or online um, in order to grow your knowledge so that you can have more authority over your life or within your job position, your workplace. Uh, we have magic. I feel like you guys are witches. 
I feel like you practice witchcraft or maybe you're into demonology or something, but it's like they're wanting to make you a very, help you become a very powerful witch here. We have two snakes. There's a snake in this card. I don't know if you guys can see it. It's a huge snake, actually. This is his head and his body wraps around. Then there's a snake here. Okay, some of you could be a, a snake in Chinese Zodiac. Um, but this is the Cycles card. So, yeah, you guys are going through some kind of rebirth right now. And it's like they want to help assist you with this rebirth that you're going through. Let me pull something from my Solomon Seal deck. Some of you could, someone here is 52, 41. I'm also seeing the number 19, 2, 6, and 8. So the number 19, 41, 52, 2, 6, or 8 could be significant to someone. I'm also seeing Sagittarius, Libra, and Cancer. Okay, so we have the fourth pinnacle of Venus. And we have the third pinnacle of the sun. With the fourth pinnacle of Venus, it holds a lot of great power because it compels the spirits of Venus to obey so that any type of wish that you want comes true here. Which is interesting because we do have the manifestation card with spell casting. So it's like they want to help you manifest your wishes to come true. Uh, the numbers four or three could also be significant. The fourth pinnacle of Venus is, it's like a big attraction, okay? It attracts things to you. And it pretty much just attracts anything that your heart desires. Some of you could be a Taurus, a Libra, and then the, the sun could be Leo as well. The third pinnacle of the sun is used to re, um, attract glory, riches, money, abundance. With this third pinnacle of the sun, these demons are wanting you to realize your ideas. They want you to achieve your goals and your happiness. I feel like they want to help you easily solve even the most difficult issues that you're currently facing. So both of these cards are both kind of about attracting a wish to come true, a specific wish that you need, a specific need or want, something um, that you're wanting to manifest that they want to help you with. With this demon, you could be connected to uh, alligators, crocodiles, snakes as well. Uh, the demon Salus is also good for love as well. He's really good um, with manifesting love. So maybe some of you are seeking love or wanting to manifest love. Um, he's pretty much kind of known for making people fall in love with each other. I kind of consider him like the Cupid of the underworld. <laughs> and then, like I said earlier, you guys got demon folklore. He's known for like unaliving men, drowning them, overthrowing warships. Um, he has power over the wind and sea. So maybe some of you are connected to ocean, water, something like that. Maybe you guys live near the ocean for some of you. Uh, maybe some of you need to connect more with uh, the wind and air or water, like a sea, an ocean, a lake, something like that. Now, if he was hoping to return to heaven after a thousand years, but he was deceived in his hope. Um, so maybe some of you had hoped to return to something like uh, return to a home, a family, something like that, but you were deceived. Uh, that could resonate for some of you. So if you have been deceived by like a home place, a family, a hometown, something like that, he's definitely helping you in this situation. Um, with the demon Olysses, he is a lion-headed soldier. Some of you could be Leo or have a Leo in your chart. He's this lion-headed soldier that rides a horse. He breathes fire. He helps teach astronomy and liberal sciences. Um, he helps even give witches familiars, like a black cat, for an example, but it doesn't have to be a cat. Um, some of you could be connected to horses. A horse could be your familiar animal, or someone here could be a horse in Chinese Zodiac. He also has a very loud and hoarse voice, so maybe some of you are loud when you speak, or you're loud speakers, or maybe some of you are hoarse when you speak a lot. And this is, his card is actually the Eight of Pentacles card. So he's wanting to help you master your craft. He wants to help you with your business or your employment, your workplace or something like that. 
Okay, he may be the reason why the high priest authority came out because this demon is wanting to help aid you with mastering your craft and becoming more knowledgeable um, with something that you do as employment. So I believe that's everything for this pile. Some of the other numbers I see are 34, 14, 6, 3, 3 again, 4, 13, 27, 10, 9, 12, 2, and then the other numbers I said earlier, which are 19, 41, 52, 8, 6, and 2. So that's everything for pile number one. I hope you guys enjoyed your quick little reading. Um, and we are going to move on to pile number two. Welcome, pile number two. If this is the pile you chose, this is going to be your timeless reading on messages from your demons. So let's see what demons... Is in your energy helping you, aiding you? For pile number two, please. So the first card I see is the demon Amy. So we have the demon Amy. Okay, so this is kind of odd. So the only demon that came out was demon Amy. Because these other two cards is the disc and the vessel. So the only demon showing itself is demon Amy for pile number two. And I'm not sure why, but this kind of makes me think of Solomon's seal. So maybe you guys are being guided to work more with Solomon's seal, um, like the talismans and everything. Um, maybe you guys are being guided to learn more about that or to work more with it. Maybe you guys are already working with Solomon's seals. And with the vessel card, it's like a big cauldron. So something's like you guys could be witches, you could be spellcasters, you could be practitioners. Um, you could just be now learning those type of things. Um, you guys, I feel like you guys are into magic or the occult. And I'm gonna be honest, this is just like so crazy that the only demon that came out is Amy, and you have the vessel cauldron card because she is a demon of magic, astrology, and liberal science. So. The demon Amy is wanting to help make your magic more potent here. I'm seeing specifically when it comes to money, like if you were to do money magic, she wants to help make your money magic more potent. Uh, the demon Amy, I feel like she comes to, I feel like she comes out to people who are witches or who are interested in witchcraft or needs help on their, their witchy journey, you know. And I feel like she's really coming in to help you guys, whether you are a experienced magician, whether you're a beginning magician, it doesn't matter. She wants to help make your magic more potent. And I'm, like I said earlier, specifically, I'm seeing money magic here, okay, with the discard. Uh, the demon Amy is portrayed as someone that is kind of like on fire, they're on flames. You guys could be a fire sign as your sun, moon, or rising. And I'm gonna be honest, I kind of thought Demon Amy was a woman, but it's it's not, it's a man. It is a man on fire. So yeah, I just actually had to look this up because I don't know a whole lot about the Demon Amy and I honestly thought it was a female, but it's not. It's a masculine demon. And he is claimed to teach astronomy, liberal arts, and also give familiars to witches. And according to another source, he's even good at discovering hidden treasures so how ironic that the disc card comes out so for a lot of you he's coming through to help you make your money magic more potent uh, for some of you he's trying to help you with employment or seeking a job or promotion or raise something like that um, for others of you he's trying to help reveal uh, money that was taken from you stolen from you hidden from you something like that he's going to help reveal um, some sort of finances that belong to you so it's going to be different for everyone it says here that they believe that when amy was cast out of heaven he was struck by a miniature sun that led to his implosion creating a supernova and the impact against the celestial star set him ablaze removing any trace of his former angelic appearance Amy believes that his current appearance also counts as his punishment from God for having turned against him. Okay, so I feel like there's someone that turned against you regarding money. Um, either they turned against you because of something to do with money or there's someone here hiding money that belongs to you. 
or not giving money that belongs to you. So let's see what the oracles have to say. Demon Amy, what would you like to tell pile number two, please? Demon Amy, what would you like to tell pile number two? Charms, enchantment. Yeah, he really wants you to work with him when it comes to magic. He wants to help, like if you enchant items in your home, um, or if you enchant anything, if you put any kind of enchantment on anything, he wants you to, he wants to help you with those things. Um, I'm hearing to use his sigil. I'm thinking about using Amy's sigil to enchant items. We have not magic binding. There's someone, he's saying that there's someone very, very close to you, possibly a family member that was trying to charm you out of some kind of money. But you saw through this, okay? Or either he's trying to make the hidden money or the stolen money reappear for you, okay? I feel like he's trying to find insight into what's going on with some kind of money that is, belongs to you, that was not given to you, or that is hidden from you, or someone stole money from you. It's like he's helping you look. I feel like he's trying to find who did this. For some of you, he already knows who did this, and he's trying to bring this to light in, in the, uh, the 3D here. We have casting a circle boundaries. Yeah. Amy, the demon Amy is helping you cast bound. Oh, that's too many cards. The demon Amy is helping you with your boundaries because for some of you there could be someone wanting to take your money take your coin here your hard-earned money for their selves and they're he's wanting you to create boundaries with that person who's trying to take your money or siphon off of your money here um oh i heard with this cauldron card the vessel that um if anybody which i've been getting this message a lot lately of I know a lot of people's money and finances have been getting spiritually attacked lately. And I feel like the demon Amy knows about this. He knows that you have been spiritually attacked when it comes to your money. Or someone's been trying to curse or hex your money. And he wants to help you with that, okay? Um, oh, yeah. So, we got these Sacred Sites Intensification card. He's about to make things very intense for whoever is doing this to you, Okay. And I just saw in my head, I don't know, I was looking up on this and there's like this little pitchfork. And if you guys have ever seen the movie Army of Darkness where Bruce Campbell is, there's like a bunch of like mini me's of Bruce Campbell and they like have like a pitchfork that they stab him. Like his mini me's beat the crap out of him in that Army of Darkness movie. And I feel like that's about to happen to the person that took your money, stole your money, um, is withholding your money, hiding your money, something like that, okay? Yeah, you're protected. You're protected by any witch out here trying to hex or curse your finances. This card also came out in pile number one. Hecate, Underworld, that also came out in pile number one. So you guys are connected to the underworld here. And I'm hearing they don't play about you, okay? So we also have the Morgan. Yeah, literally I just said the, un the underworld does not play about you. And the Morgan is, she's like the goddess of war. She don't play either. Um, so I'm hearing the demon Amy is saying it's wartime. Something has been going on with money. And the demon Amy is like, is, is about to fight for you. Or literally beat up whoever <laughs> did this to you, okay? Because I'm, again, I'm seeing that Army of Darkness scene with the little Bruce Campbells attacking him. Like, he's, I feel like the demon Amy is, like, sending an army after who did this to you. Um, dang, this one also came out in Pile 1, okay? You guys could be connected to Pile 1 as well. Um, some of you could work with the Goddess Morgan, too. Or Goddess Hecate. But again, uh, we have the cycles card. Some of you could be a snake in Chinese zodiac. 
there's something that's been going on. It's like never ending. And I feel like it has to do with money or with people putting witchcraft on you. And it's just been like an endless cycle of it. And Demon Amy is tired of it and he wants to help you, okay? Yeah, magical tools, magnification. He sees who is putting magic on you and he, he's he got a red dot on them, okay? A little red laser dot on whoever has been sitting here doing this baneful magic on you. Uh, Horn God, yeah, he's not playing around. Vampire Hunger. There is someone trying to siphon off of your energy or your money. Sigil symbols. Yeah, they were doing baneful magic. Freedom. Demon Amy is freeing you from all the baneful magic done to you. Um, any, Especially if it's something attacking your finances here. You are free from the spell work and these attacks. We also have weather magic manipulation. Yeah, someone was trying to manipulate you. Or manipulate your finances. Or manipulate you out of your finances. Manipulation is also about magic as well. That's just another confirmation. So I'm going to pull two Solomon Seal cards and see what comes out. And then we will move on. Okay, we have Six Pinnacle of Saturn. So the Six Pinnacle of Saturn. And we have the First Pinnacle of Saturn. So two Saturn cards, very interesting. Six Pinnacle and the First Pinnacle of Saturn. I feel like whoever is, whoever has been doing this to you, these attacks or these manipulations um, or stealing or withholding, they're being possessed by demons right now. Th this person is either getting possessed or there's an, a, this demon Amy is obsessed with making sure this is taken care of. It says on this card, set thou a wicked one to be ruler over him and let Satan stand at his right hand. Yeah, there's someone in your energy that's been very wicked. Their intentions have been very wicked towards you. This particular seal is often used to work with dark forces. And considering you guys have the Hecate Underworld, I feel like if you were to work with Demon Amy or any type of dark forces, you are protected here with the Six Pinnacle of Saturn. Because this particular seal helps in the struggle against enemies. Um, so yeah, Demon Amy, maybe even the Goddess Morgan or Hecate is taking care of your enemies with the Six Pinnacle of Saturn. And it's also believed that if you read the prayer correctly and give the name of the enemy, then your enemy will become defeated. Um, because again, the Solomon Seal helps fight against enemies. I feel like some people should be careful when using this uh, specific seal. Um, but I feel like pile number two, you would be able to handle this or work with this seal. Also with the Six Pinnacle of Saturn, uh, this seal is in intended for manipulating evil spirits. And it's actually only suitable for experienced practitioners and exorcists. So you guys, I feel like if you are an experienced practitioner, witch, uh, magician, this still would work well for you against your enemies. Um, for others of you, uh, maybe this is a sign to like get in the beginning phases so you can become experienced. Um, this seal actually also protects against obsession. So I feel like your enemy um, or whoever's been like messing with your money here or putting baneful magic on you, they're obsessed with you. And this seal will help protect you against their obsession. You also have the first pinnacle of Saturn. This is a very powerful tool of magical evocation uh, that the greater key of Solomon tells us that is of great value and utility for striking terror into the spirits. Um, this seal is about protection, justice, knowledge, um, to bind an enemy, to manifest thought. Um, it can even help with real estate banking and to also neutralize harmful intents from people. And what's what's odd is the seal is to use to bind an enemy and you have not magic, binding. I feel like Demon Amy wants to take care of your enemies and protect you, especially if you're a very skilled and experienced uh, magician, practitioner, spellcaster, occultist, whatever you define yourself. 
Um, the first pinnacle of Saturn is actually a part of the Keys of Solomon collection designed exclusively for hex and omens um, and drawn from the wisdom of the ancient grimoire known as the Greater Key of Solomon. It's very possible that this demon Amy is wanting to help you with a bit deeper knowledge when it comes to the underworld or when it comes to a grimoire especially with the horn god here it's like i feel like he wants to help you with occult knowledge or something to do with a grimoire i'm also hearing another one bites the dust like demon amy is not playing about whatever situation you're going through or what type of knowledge you need to be learning oh before we go though i'm seeing the numbers 42 41 28 14 12 2 16 38 44 23 37 2 13 34 26 and we also have the number 74 75 58 5 1 and 1 okay these numbers could be very significant to you whether it's a birth date birth month birth day birth year a life path number, something like that. So that is your reading, pile number two. Hope you guys enjoyed it. And we are going to move on to pile number three. Welcome, pile number three. This is gonna be your timeless reading on messages from your demons. So let's see what demons are wanting to come out to speak or connect with pile number three, please. Okay, one more. So the first card you got is the wand card. This isn't a demon, but it is the wand card. The other card that came out was the demon Gamigan. So demon Gamigan. And then you also got the demon Alagos. So demon Alagos. So you have two demons that are coming out in the reading. Um, some of you could be connected to horses. A horse could be your spirit animal. Some of you could be a horse in Chinese Zodiac. Uh, because Demon Gamigan appears in the form of a small horse. Um, sometimes a donkey uh, changes into a human sometimes. He also has a, a horse voice. Um, I feel like you guys could be connected to Pile 1 as well. Uh, but Demon Gamigan teaches liberal sciences and he delivers news about people who have died in sin. He can summon the souls of drowned men and those who are in purgatory. Um, so there may be something going on with someone's death or maybe this is someone that has already died or someone that's about to die. Some of you may get news about a death of someone or maybe you guys have already received news about a death of someone. Um, but I feel like whoever this person is that has already died or about to die, they're not a good person. So if you're thinking of you know, the, your sweet old grandpa that passed away, I'm not talking about him. Like, this is someone who is evil, has done sinful things in their life, and either they've already passed over or they're about to. This person that has already passed over or is about to could be stuck in purgatory or they're about to be. And it's really odd because me and my family just watch Beetlejuice. I haven't seen the movie Beetlejuice in, like, 10 years or longer or something like that and in a way they were kind of like stuck and I feel like someone that did you really bad or was just an evil person in general it's like they're stuck in purgatory or if this is someone that's about to pass over it's like they're going to be stuck in purgatory the demon elegos is about war conflict love lust armies divination warfare wrath death even and shockwave so I feel like you, there's something going on with a death here. Either it's a, a death that's already happened or a death that is about to happen. He also helps reveal hidden secrets within yourself. Um, also hidden secrets around you, like not only within yourself, but any type of hidden secrets that are around you in your life. He helps reveal them. Um, he's also a really good spirit for divination. Um, I personally, he came to me in a dream a while back and was telling me that he could help me um, improve like the visions I have in my dreams uh, when it came to prophecies 
uh, but that's just my own personal experience with them uh, because me personally I have prophetic dreams of wars like I there's things that I've dreamt like 10 15 years ago that have already come into play um, so if you feel like you have had prophetic dreams I do recommend this demon because he came to me after having a prophetic dream and was like hey I'm the one helping you see these things. I was like, whoa, okay. <laughs> so for some of you, if you have pro prophetic dreams, especially when it comes to like war or politics, um, he could be help aiding you with those things, okay? Uh, because he does help reveal the coming of wars and battles. And for me personally, I've been having these prophetic dreams since I was like a kid, a teenager. I've had them all my life. I don't have them frequently. I have them like once every few months, sometimes once a year. But he is the demon who can help with those things, okay? Um, so if you have prophetic dreams, he may be help aiding you with those. Or he may be the one uh, that's there. He, it's like he wants you to have those dreams so that you can see what's to come, what's to happen. Um, he knows all the secrets of war and he does see the future. And he teaches leaders to win the loyalty of their soldiers. Um, he's also, again, good at discovering hidden things within or outside of yourself. Um, he knows of things to come, again, particularly in war, and he causes, he's also good for causing love between people as well. Um, and the battle doesn't have to actually be about war or military. It can even be about a legal battle. So if you guys are going through a legal battle, he is wanting to help aid you. He can help influence the outcome of legal trials um, in the courtroom. He is seen as a handsome man in a red coat and copper helmet and a red horse. So you have two demons here that ride on a horse. Something about a horse is very significant to this reading. Or some, maybe even the symbolism of a horse. Um, he's also seen carrying a lance, um, like a scepter, sometimes even a serpent, which is really, like, I'm going to show you this. Like, he's on his horse and he's always carrying this lance. Um, that sometimes has a serpent around it, okay? And what did, what's the first card that came out? The wand. And it even looks like it has a snake around it. That is crazy, the synchronicity of this. Because he carries a lance. He carries a scepter. Sometimes he carries a serpent. And this is a scepter, a lance with a serpent on it. And I feel like he's seriously... And not only that, but there's like a light down here. He's trying to shed light on something that's hidden either within yourself or something surrounding you that's hidden and he's trying to shed light on this for you so you may be having dreams visions downloads he's helping you with these things now let's see what comes out for the oracle cards yeah i'm also noticing the big full moon up here as well like something that's being hidden mysterious or secretive is being revealed to you or is about to okay so let's see what else comes out i'm also seeing the number 4 15 and 76 could be significant to someone synergy Someone could have been siphoning off of your energy. You could be a snake in Chinese Zodiac. You could be a Capricorn. You could be a Leo. Um, or maybe a Capricorn or Leo was trying to siphon off of your energy. We have midwife, birth. I'm hearing birth and death. Um, there may, I feel like if you had a sinful family member that passed away, an evil, sinful uh, family member that passed away, they are stuck in purgatory. Or either this is a very um, evil, sinful family member that's about to pass away. I'm seeing like a bed be made up and a room being cleared out because of someone passing. Crystals, amplification. You're very protected. Uh, they may be wanting you to work more with crystals. Hang on. A card flew out and landed on my printer. And we have loneliness. Yeah, someone's in purgatory or someone's about to be in purgatory. Because I was just watching Beetlejuice and she was like, she's like, I hate this. You know, she just, she hated being stuck. 
And then they hated the new people moving into the house after they died in Beetlejuice. And like I just said, I saw someone's bed being made and all their stuff being cleared out of a room or a house. I just feel like the movie Beetlejuice is significant to this uh, reading since I did just recently see this. focus. Ooh, these demons are very focused on taking out someone in a fatal way. Poppets, sorcery. Someone could have been doing poppet magic or a voodoo doll on you. Somebody was, you're very protected by whatever like baneful magic or baneful sorcery was being done on you. You are protected from this. And now these demons are focusing on these people that are in purgatory or the people that are about to be in purgatory. I don't want to say people. I guess because a lot of people are watching this video. But whoever this person is with this purgatory energy around them. We have fear. Yeah, some of you, this is definitely a family member that has already passed over or is about to pass over. This is someone, a family member that wanted you in fear or they put you in fearful situations and now they're about to see what fear feels like. Because this is someone who tried to scare you or put fear in you or put you in scary situations in life. A family member did this to you. And because of this, they are now facing fear and purgatory, or they're about to. This The dude in the back even makes me think of Beetlejuice because there is like, um, what was it, when they're in the waiting room and he was shrinking everyone's heads. They're about to have a, a big spiritual punch. Yeah, love, Kali. For some of you, this is an ex- an ex-lover, an ex-spouse, ex-partner that was very evil and sinful towards you. For others of you, this is family member that did not show you love. We have Grimoire that just like literally flew out. Authenticity. Whoever this is, this family member, whether they're alive or not, they are scared of your power. And I just posted something on my community tab. It was from Buffy the Vampire Slayer where she realized that people were putting her in certain situations and downplaying her and stuff like that. And it's because they, they saw her power. They saw how powerful she was. And they like wanted to dismantle that. And she figured it out. Witches script secrets. Yeah. Like I said, this is confirmation. Anything that's being secretive, whether it's something within yourself or something around you, is being brought to light. For some of you, this has to do with legal documentations. Uh, for someone very specific, these demons are helping some sort of legal documentation come to light. Erinus, vengeance, yeah. These demons are out for vengeance. And we have foresight, yeah. You are having a lot of dreams, downloads coming to you. Messages, everything. Signs, synchronicities. You're seeing all kinds of stuff. Like I feel like your psychic abilities, your intuitiveness is amped up. Because of these demons. Because they need you to find something. They need you to find something or to find out something. Sigil symbols. Yeah, like I just said, they're sending you synchronicities, Paul 3. Disconnection. Yeah, someone's disconnected to the earthly, earthly realm or they're about to be. Someone's not in the 3D anymore or they're about to not be in the 3D Oh my God, I just heard with the disconnection, I just saw someone like, like hooked up and then having to, someone's like pulling the plug on someone. I don't know why I'm seeing someone pull the plug on someone. For someone very specific, 
Um, this very sinful, evil person could have pulled the plug on someone else. And now these demons are coming for this person because this person pulled the plug when they shouldn't have. Ooh. These just flew out. So we have sixth pinnacle of the moon. Fifth pinnacle of Saturn. Gosh, I didn't want to take all these, but... Third pinnacle of Saturn, second pinnacle of Mars, fifth pinnacle of Saturn, and sixth pinnacle of the moon. The second pinnacle of Mars is getting really good success against your health. Um, like if you've been suffering with a disease or health issues or something, um, the second pinnacle of Mars um, grants great success when dealing with health issues. Again, I'm not a doctor. I have a disclaimer. And this reading is for entertainment purposes only. For some of you, you may find that your health is improving or it will. This pinnacle of the moon is actually about rain, which I find interesting because I don't, I know a lot of different states in the United States have been dealing with a lot of rain this week. I know this is a timeless reading, but if you've been dealing with a lot of rain, it's connected to the verse, were all the fountains of the great deep and the rain fell on the earth. The sixth pinnacle of the moon is about bringing rain. So it could be very rainy where you currently live right now, wherever you're traveling to or staying at. So I'm not really sure why the sixth pinnacle of moon came out because it's pretty much just like the rain dance of the Solomon seals here. But it could come out because it's, um, I feel like if it's been raining a lot when you're watching this or when you are seeing this, that I feel like it's a sign that this uh, pile is meant for you. If you're experiencing rain or bad weather, you also have the fifth pinnacle of Saturn, which is about protection when it comes to your home. So this seal protects your home and it guards all treasures and possessions you own. So if you've been scared of someone coming to be a thief or a burglar, if you're scared someone's going to steal from you, rob you, you are protected from this. Or if you're worried about that, use this specific seal, this fifth pinnacle of Saturn to protect your home. Um, especially when it comes to, oh, I'm here and protect your home from bad weather and rain and protect your home from thieves, burglars as well. Um, something about that with this seal. You also have the third pinnacle of Saturn, which is good for protection against plots made by others. And it's also very good for defending yourself against evil spirits. So there could be someone around you that has been plotting against you, um, trying to do something behind your back that would um, harm you, hurt you. Um, put you in a bad situation in life or something, you are protected from any types of people making some sort of plots or plans behind your back that would be to your detriment, okay? Um, and if people have been putting baneful magic on you or trying to send you evil spirits, this is these demons defending you and helping you against these evil spirits that are being sent your way. Um, if you're dealing with ghosts or paranormal activity, this still helps can help protect from that as well. If you feel like the spirits are bad or evil. Um, personally, though, I feel like with some of these books and the book cards, the Grimoire card, the Sigil card, and the Poppet card. Yeah, there's definitely, for some of you, there's been someone that's been trying to send evil spirits your way or do baneful magic. But you are protected from this, okay? Um, some of the numbers I see are 3, 5, 6, 2. And 32, 14, 31, 12, 13, 31, 38, 27, 11, 24, 32, 41, 30, and 5. And I'm also seeing the number 15, 4, 76, 1, 13, and 7. Okay, this could be a birth month, a birth date, um, birth year, life path number, some kind of sig significant number to you. Okay, so that's everything for Pile 3. I hope you guys enjoyed the reading. If you did, be sure to like, comment, subscribe. I love you guys so much, and I'll see you all in the next Pick a Card. Bye.